If we're working on maximal efficiency and doing a pendulum kettlebell swing, we want to make sure that we're using the proper leg action. So the reason why we use a pendulum swing is because the kettlebell is naturally going to travel on a pendulum trajectory. If we just have the kettlebell connected to something like a, a string or your arm here, which is straight, as we swing back and forth, the natural path of the kettlebell is to make a pendulum up, 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 up. So when we're doing a pendulum swing, we're simply following the trajectory that the kettlebell naturally wants to make. The other reason why we're doing a pendulum swing or using that double knee bend leg action is that we want the kettlebell to be directed up and not out. So when we do a hinge style swing, which is here, if I were to let go of the bell at the top of the swing, it would fly forward, which means that if I want to bring the kettlebell into rack or into overhead position, I would have to fight that forward force and pull the bell towards me. However, if I'm doing a pendulum swing, the kettlebell is now directed up. So I can even let go for a quick second and that kettlebell will float up towards the ceiling. So that means that if I want to direct into the rack or overhead, it's much easier for me to transition that bell because the bell is already going up, which is where we want it to go into the rack or the overhead. So what's important to note there is with the leg action, there's going to be a double knee bend. So the knees are going to bend into a more of a squat position here. We'll extend and then as we come through, bend, push. So usually um, a common mistake that happens here is people are bending their knees to go back, but on the way forward, they're kind of missing a big knee bend and they're sort of just pushing forward like they would with a hinge swing. So it's really important to make sure that on the way forward, you squat low enough that when you push up, you're pushing the floor away and directing that kettlebell up towards the ceiling. So an easy way for you to check whether you're using that proper leg action when you're doing the pendulum swing is to do a quick open and close with your grip at the top of the swing and notice if that kettlebell feels like it's floating up or if it feels like it's sort of getting away from you and pulling you forward, in which case you will need to bend more through your knees on the way up on the swing. So give that a shot. Let me know how it goes. And as always, tell me if you have any questions. I'd love to help.